and welcome to this week's vlog. This week we are at the Pleasure Beach. So this vlog is going to be about what the disability access and uh, sort of disabled facilities around the park are today. I've done lots of research uh, so yeah we're going to have a look around. Neil's going to go on the ride, my brother and his wife are going to go on the ride. I am in the wheelchair. There's a couple of rides I want to go on so I'm going to talk about how you get on those rides, I'm going to tell you which rides you can't go on if you're in a wheelchair and I'm going to tell you what the disabled toilets are like as well. It's exciting stuff. So before we headed to Blackpool Pleasure Beach um, I checked out their website for all of their disability and access information. Their website is really good and I will link it below. Um, it tells you that you can hire a wheelchair at the park and again it is first come first serve so giving them a ring beforehand is definitely worth it. On their help and frequently asked questions page there is a link to their dedicated disability guest access page. This page is brilliant. Um, it's got all of the access information, it's got useful information, it tells you about the carers tickets, it tells you about the easy pass which I'll talk about a little later. Um, you can. It tells you that you can bring guide dogs and assistance dogs into the park and like I already mentioned uh, it tells you about wheelchair hire. On this page there is also a link to their access guide which is a full guide of which parts of the park, which attractions, which toilets, everything that you can access if you're in a wheelchair. This access guide is really really good. Um, it hasn't been updated since July 2020 so do check the website for a more up-to-date version but the park hasn't changed that much in a year this is a really useful guide so definitely check the guide out check the website out before you visit so to 11 we've just got on the park i'd like to thank amy for our free tickets Woo! Uh, because obviously it's not because she's my sister in law it's because i'm so good at vlogging that i just get free tickets now. Blackpool Pleasure Beach is fairly compact, it's not the biggest uh, park in the world, it's certainly not as big as Alton Towers, um, but it is a fair old trek, especially if you're not great with mobility like me. Um, but there are lots and lots of different places to sit down in the Pleasure Beach, there's lots of outdoor seating and there is also a lot of indoor seating, uh, which is really good. Um, there are lots of ramps, sort of big hills to get up and down, so just bear that in mind before you visit. Some rides like the Avalanche here are not wheelchair accessible, you have to go up a set of stairs to get onto the ride, so you can't take the wheelchair up, so it's worth bearing that in mind. But there are some rides on the Pleasure Beach that you can't go on, Avalanche is one of them, and the Revolution, is it called the Revolution? Yeah. Revolution is the other ride that you cannot go on, uh, is, hasn't got wheelchair access, you have to go up a set of stairs to get onto it. Um, so to get on Alice in Wonderland you need to be able to get out of your wheelchair, stand up two steps and then climb into the ride car, um, which is a little bit tricky but it's not that hard but yeah you can't get to the ride queue in a wheelchair so it's worth bearing that in mind. Uh, and yeah and now Neil has decided he has bought a fish of me so my brother is with me, there's my brother. Uh, now we are going to go on, I don't know, oh I'm not going on something, I think, I don't know, what are we going on now? Icon. Oh, uh, Neil, Amy and Peter are going on Icon now, I am not going on Icon because that is a big scary one. So Amy, Peter and Neil have just gone on Icon, um, it's not recommended for people with back issues, um, so I am not going on it. I've been laden down with everyone's stuff, all balanced on a wheelchair, uh, yeah, so I'm going to wait for them to go on Icon, uh, and then we'll decide what to do next. Um, Icon is another ride that is wheelchair accessible. You can take your ride, you can take your chair into the queue. You have to be able to get out of the wheelchair and be able to board the ride by yourself. Uh, everyone is 
is now on the big one. Uh, this is another ride that I don't really want to go on because of my back. Um, this is also another ride that is not really accessible. Um, you have to be able to walk up some stairs to get onto the ride. Um, so yeah, you can't take your wheelchair into the queue line. For lunch we had all you can eat pizza, um, this was really good so because I was in the wheelchair they bought my pizza to me, everyone else basically goes up to the counter and chooses their own pizza. Also this is one of the very few gluten free places to eat in the park um, and they prepare you a separate gluten free pizza which they bring out separately to everyone else. The only issue is you can't really choose different flavours, you sort of, you can have two pizza, two whole pizzas which are quite a decent size and quite tasty. But yeah, lunch was really good. So there's lots and lots of toilets at the Pleasure Beach. There's lots of disabled toilets. Some of them you need a radar key for, uh, but the toilets that need a radar key, he says you can get the key from the attendant. Um, and you can also buy them. I read that you can buy them in the gift shop as well. Uh, the toilet I've just been in was huge and it had a hoist and a change of adult change of bed in it. The hoist had a maximum capacity of 28 and a half stone, which is really good. The change of bed had a capacity of 55 stone, uh, so that was really good too. Um, the, this disabled toilet that I found with the hoist and bed in it is in Nickelodeon. <laughs> The Pleasure Beach Express is one of my favourite rides in the park. It's basically a train that goes around the whole park. Wheelchair access for this is via Nickelodeon Land. You basically enter via the exit. Um, it's all flat and then there are special wheelchair carriages that they open a ramp into and then you get basically the whole carriage for your chair. So yeah, I love the train. It's one of my favourite rides. <laughs> When you exit the ride, you exit the same way you entered, um, but I just wanted to point out that at the, the start of the entrance, the hill is really, it was quite scary being pushed back up that hill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm not that heavy. Go. New hat. <laughs> Seagull looks like it's up to summit. It is. <laughs> Wallace and Gromit is another ride where you can take your wheelchair straight up to the ride vehicle. There is a separate entrance for this, uh, and then basically you put, push the wheelchair up this fairly narrow ramp until you get to the top um, and you can then leave your wheelchair right next to the ride vehicle and enter the ride vehicle. It is one that you have to climb into uh, but it is fairly easy to get in and out of. Oh, this is a tight, this is a very tight corner. I don't know if everybody gets the same pack but I have just been pushed around in my wheelchair by Gromit from Wallace and Gromit. It was very exciting. So, Thanks, Grumman, for pushing me out. Confusion is another ride that is not accessible by a wheelchair. The only way you can get onto Confusion is via the main queue line, which has stairs in it. Neil and Peter are at the front carriage. No, 
Okay. First class is accessible to wheelchairs. You enter via the exit and you can stay in your chair until you board the ride and then you can ask a member of staff for assistance should you need it. The ghost train is a really fun ride, um, it was my first ever time on the ghost train and I loved it. It is wheelchair accessible and you can access the ride via the exit gate and ramp and you can remain in your wheelchair until you board the carriage and you can ask for assistance should you need it. Amy arranged for me to have an easy pass, which is ride queue assistance. This is uh, valid for the disabled guest and one other person, and it basically allows you to enter all of the rides via the exit or speedy pass gate. Um, the ride staff permit access to these rides when it is safe to do so. For various reasons, some rides aren't available via easy pass, like Avalanche, the Ghost Train, Alpine Rally, Impossible, uh, the Carousel, and Valhalla and you will need proof of the disability or condition, so a letter confirming your DLA or your PIP, a valid blue badge, and you'll need a photographic ID as well. You can collect your Easy Pass uh, when you arrive at the park by heading to the information desk in the ticket centre and they'll discuss your requirements, um, give you any information you need, and you can collect and purchase your e-tickets from there as well. It's a really good system and all of the information about it is available on the website which I will have linked below. Check it all out before you go and you can ask any team members whilst you're there if you need any assistance or help with it. River Caves is another ride where you can remain in your wheelchair until you board the boat. Uh, bear in mind that the boat is actually quite tricky to get in and out of uh, so you might need help with that. Uh, we've had a full day on the pleasure beach. Uh, I think they've done. You've done every, nearly everything. Yeah. Uh, they haven't been on the Grand National because we didn't have time, and I went to go and Alice in Wonderland again. Um, but yeah, it's been really fun. I've had a nice day. We've used Amy's discount, which has been very nice. The park has been really quiet today. We haven't had to queue for anything, which has been really good, but it is September and term time, so you'd expect it to be pretty quiet. We've had a really great day here. Disability access is brilliant. Everything, all the information about it is really clear. The easy pass system is really good. There are plenty of disabled toilets. There's plenty of seating. Um, there are plenty of rides you can go on if you're in a wheelchair. It's a shame you can't go on all of them, but it is what it is. We'd like to say a huge thank you to Amy for letting us have her discount tickets. We've had a really great day, thank you. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Don't forget to drop me a comment, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be back soon with another video.